Hey guys, so I thought it'd be a fun idea today to do some art journaling, some kind of prepping pages in my traveller's notebook. This is my A5 traveller's notebook Midori MD paper. I've got my watercolours here, um, so I just thought it'd be fun to watercolour some of my pages, add some music over the top of the video. You guys can chill out and journal with me. I love these kind of videos. They just always inspire me to get out my journal and to play around with watercolours, so I really hope it does the same for you. So get your traveller's notebooks and journals out and start creating with me. And I really hope you enjoy the video. If you're wondering, the watercolours that I've got here are my White Knight watercolours that I currently always use all the time. I am actually waiting um, for three Daniel Smith half pans to come through the post that I ordered a couple of weeks ago from Little Rainbow Moon. Um, so I'm really excited for those to come because I know how good they are watching Ali Brown's videos. So I'm really excited for that. But for now, I've got my White Knight watercolours here. So uh, enjoy the video, guys.
that's as much as I'm doing for today's video guys. I'm really chuffed with how the pages have turned out. Um, so I've done this yellow and orange page, this pinky purple page and this blue and green page and I really really like it. So you will have kind of been able to see how I uh, do my watercolours. I kind of splodge the watercolour paint on with lots and lots of water which causes these beautiful kind of splodges I guess. Um, and I really like how it's turned out. This one I did flick some watercolour on to get these spots all around the page. Just adds a bit more kind of, I don't know, just adds something a little bit different to the page. Kind of makes it look like there's more texture than what there actually is. And it reminds me of the ocean, so it's really, really beautiful. I really like how that's turned out. And on this side I did some stamps, so you saw me use the big rose stamp. And I actually really like when it kind of doesn't always work out very well when it's not so clear it kind of gives it that vintage almost um, effect I've used some of my favorite washi tape and it's got these cute little foxes on it some little foxes and um, little hairs and they're really really sweet so there you go and the colors just look really nice together and there's also some pink in there so it kind of ties in nicely with the next page uh, another little stamp I used was this bird and that was uh, from a really cheap set from um, Oh, the works and I've also used this one here as well so yeah really pleased with how they have turned out I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration to get your journals out and to start watercoloring I hope it's I hope it's helped you feel a little bit more creative and ready to journal so thanks so much for watching guys make sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up bye